Hi, I'm Syed Rehan, and I'm a Senior Developer Advocate with AWS IoT. Today, we will look at AWS IoT Secure Tunneling feature. We have announced AWS IoT Secure Tunneling browser-based feature, and we will look at that feature in details today. So first and foremost, what is Secure Tunneling? When you have a device which are deployed behind restricted firewalls at a remote site, you may need a way to gain access to those devices for troubleshooting, configuration updates, and other operational tasks. By using secure tunneling, you can establish bidirectional communication to remote devices over a secure connection that is managed by AWS IoT. Secure tunneling does not require updates to your existing inbound firewall rules, so you can keep the same security level provided by firewall rules at a remote site. For secure tunneling to work, you would need a destination device, which would be your remote end device. It also need a proxy setup. You can download a proxy setup from AWS samples from GitHub. And you would also need a source device, which would be your operator's device. So what is the new feature of AWS IoT Secure Tunneling browser-based? With the browser-based secure tunneling, the source device and operator can log into AWS IoT Core console. And by using the AWS IoT Secure Tunneling console, operator can connect by using SSH into the remote end device using the browser. Let's switch over to AWS IoT Core console and test this feature out. So from AWS IoT Core Console, let's find a thing which you want to connect to. So I've created a thing earlier, tunnel device. Let's go into that one. You have option to create secure tunnel. Let's click on that. And you have a wizard guiding you through on creating the secure tunnel. So you have an option to create a quick setup method or manual setup. Uh, let's go ahead and set up a quick setup. And it gives you the option fills in the quick description for you uh, and gives the maximum duration of the tunnel, which is 12 hours. Let's go ahead, confirm and create it. You also have option to download the secure access token for your source device as well as destination device. Just go ahead and done. So here we have an option to connect to the SSH either using username and password or using private key. So I will connect to this device using private key. And let's go ahead and connect. See, the terminal window has popped up and we are connected to our end device here. Um, so let's catalog. So I, I'm basically using uh, AWS IoT Greengrass as my end device or remote device. Um, and I can cat the log for one of the components which uh, Greengrass has, which is secure tunneling component. So if I type cat Greengrass v2 logs, uh, aws.greengrass or secure tunneling.log, and we will be able to see the, the live data coming in. Um, and we can see here that I've just connected to the end device and we have cat it. So there we have it. So you can actually use uh, secure tunneling to connect to end device to carry out remote activities if you want to restore the device or carry out any audit activities or in fact if you detected an anomaly on the device connecting to you to the cloud and you wanted to uh, investigate and mitigate any actions you can do that using tunnel um, so with that i will just go ahead and delete the tunnel in fact delete This will delete the tunnel. So there we have it. This concludes our walkthrough on setting up browser-based secure tunneling. If you have any questions, please reach out to us on repost or AWS. And if you have any questions, and if you'd like to get in touch with me and ask these questions directly, feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn or Twitter. Have a great day wherever you are. Hope you enjoy this video. Thank you.